write down the write down the name Mike, then write down the word who, cheese, and Harry, and make Mike it sp- who cheese Harry. <laughs> yeah, right. So when you say it fast, it's inappropriate. <laughs> Mike who cheese Harry. <laughs> Ew, Carissa. <laughs> Calm down with Aaron and Carissa is a production of iHeartRadio. Drum roll, ladies and gentlemen. We just, uh, I'm clear about this. This is for week 26. Yeah. Oh, I guess it doesn't matter. Got it. Okay. Here we go. Um, Welcome, everybody, to the pregame 10 minutes of fun. We get a chance to answer These are your good questions. questions. These are I good. I love when you guys submit questions um, for a number of different reasons. A, we get to botch your names, which are terrible. Maybe I'm going to work on that <laughs> in the new year. I feel very bad. But this first one is. Pretty easy. Jessa Lynn, 95. Aaron, do you miss being on Dancing with the Stars? We miss you. Oh, so sweet. Oh, that's so sweet. I do miss parts of it. I miss Tom. I miss seeing the dancers. Mm-hmm. I miss our um, our script reads in the morning because they were super sarcastic, dirty. Oh, wait, fun. tell me about those. I don't, I don't, I don't know anything oh, about those. Oh, so we would have, you know, there's a script for the two-hour show. Now, uh, you know, it obviously was live, so, but we yeah. had a format of where we would be, the opening number, and then we yeah. would watch all the videos, like the packages in the morning, mm. and you'd find out who was sleeping together, who was fighting, <sighs> who was faking <sighs> it who was injured. And so, you know, we would read the script with the producers and kind of be like, okay, this is what you say here. There's always funny, quirky lines, but that's when we would change it with our own and be like kind of funny or mean or sarcastic. So we always had a good time. Tom and I were great. Wait, Um, I have a question. I don't know if you can say this and you're not saying anyone specific. What percentage of dancer, of of dancers? Dancers? Yeah. Um, We're sleeping together. So when I did the show, which was season 10, a lot of them were sleeping together because they all weren't married yet. When I was hosting the show, they were all married. So Uh, kind of that drama left our show, which was really fun. When dancers were hooking up or they were hooking up with contestants. So that was a good time. If you're single and you've got a hot (laughs) single partner and like you're dancing for hours and hours on end, I'd be like, "Mm -hmm, dirty dancing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It got that way. Cute. Uh Jess Porter, 13, most proud of accomplishing in 2022. That's a good one. What about you? Ooh, you should be so proud about Amazon. Oh, thank you. That was my first thought, which it should be. Um, I am very proud to be a part of something uh, that is the first to do something, a first streaming um, platform to host the NFL. Yes, I'm very, very proud of that. But I'm also very proud, and I don't often break my arm patting myself on the back, but I'm very proud of myself for making with, and I cannot state this enough, with your help, because I really wouldn't have done it um, in the in the way that I did and as quickly as I did without your push um, in making choices that put me in a position to be happy for the rest of my life and a bad relationship <clears throat> and getting out as quickly as I could. Um, so the rest of my life can be better. So I'm very happy and it's a really shitty thing to go through, but um, I'm proud of myself for that because you should I'm be. infinitely happier. And yeah, so my 2022 has a lot of highs and lows, but definitely highs is being happy and my work. I'm really, I'm really excited about, the the workspace you doll love that um i'm excited about this podcast and i'm yeah. proud of it because i think we found a little kind of mafia that listens to it and i'm excited to expand it um next year with the help yep. of our producer and all our team on this i think um how many of you want to see us go on the road and maybe <gasps> come see us do it take live? it to the I'm streets gonna, people i'm gonna take it to yeah mm-hmm. i'm gonna put that out there and i'm i'm where is kicking ass and we're taking yes. names and uh big mistake huge um there's mm-hmm. so many things we're pumped up about so yeah i'm excited about very, that very very proud of you as scary... she's wearing her own sweatshirt i mean that's so awesome babe it's really really <clears throat> cool and every time Love i you. see your gear i'm just like it is not easy it is an idea Ew. but a lot of people have ideas and to actually see it come to fruition and it's fucking cute i saw that green bay um pajama set oh, today yeah. oh my god snuggly and cute really really good you, stuff you should you. be very proud of yourself thank and to the you. calm down listeners thank you guys for yes I feel like we're making an acceptance for an award we didn't win. And we'd like to thank you for your support. And uh, we will be here for you through good times and bad. La, 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 la. Front R-O-W seats. Front row seats. (gasps) 
Whoa. Wow. That's but really good. Zero? Yeah. But I was so blonde on reading that. Did you see that? Wait, actually, I've got a funny thing um, on reading names after this. Okay. So here's the question is for front row seats. Really good. <laughs> is New Year's Eve overrated? Um, I like New Year's Eve. Yeah. I like a chance to like have new beginnings and like a fresh start to something. So I like New Year's Eve. <laughs> Old Lang Syne, is that what the song is? I always get excited for that. I love a toast at New Year's. Aww. Yeah, I'm into it. Although yeah. this this year, I won't be doing anything because I got a show the next day. You've got a game the next day. Yeah, but it's kind of tough. Not overrated. Heck. No, it's great. Um, okay, MJ Rodriguez M. Do you guys ever do sleepovers? LOL. Well, I don't know if this is you are trying to be kinky, but <laughs> I... I love my because I don't get to be home, especially this time of year. I love sleeping at my own my own house mm-hmm, and like being mm-hmm. in my own bed. But um, the times that I have traveled with you or with Kelly, um, we do have vacation. a vacation when we yeah, have yeah, a sleepover. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's the times I was going to say. Nonsense. Sleepovers are like at this point are like vacation sleepovers. Um, next one is. Oh, Ryan said that that was a woman who sent it in, but you never know. No, I, I didn't know where that was going and if I missed it. But yeah, we we love uh, carrying it on into the evening. So whatever. And Maria Schofner says, what is your guilty pleasure? Guilty pleasure. Um, Food or, or trash TV? I mean, trash TV is up there for me of like dumb stuff. Um, also guilty is- pleasure. Mine is playing dermatologist with that magnifying mirror. It's awful. I've gotten, pr- I've done pretty good at that recently. I'm not doing not that me. recently, but um, I like M and M's, like peanut M and M's. I like specifically don't have things in my house because I know that I'll eat them. Yeah. Um, wait, hold on. I gotta get this thing. Tell me a story real quick before I. I gotta look up this funny thing. Hold on. Okay. Well, I have another question. Kim Flick 81. What's the most nervous you've been for an interview? Um, I would probably say like most nervous, a Tom Brady sit down is always a big one. Cause you don't know you get them if you get them very often. Yeah. Um, Aaron is always nerve wracking, even though he's a good friend, but he's so smart. And oh. I got to try to get him to answer the damn question. Wait, are you, him, you still like, get like that it. with him? Yeah, because he's just, he's so smart and he's so witty and I know he's smarter than me. So it's just like, oh shit, how do I figure out, you know, how to get him to answer the question? But he's so good. He'll do it. Um, I'm trying to think. Derek Jeter, I've been <sighs> nervous about just because he's the captain and he's royalty. Uh, la, 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 la. I'm trying to think. Anyone else? Um, I always I had to, little... I had to interview Justin one time, Timberlake, <gasps> at, you backstage did? at the Emmys and that, or Emmys, geez, OPs, uh, at the ESPYs. And that was really scary. Um, and he now was so you, great. Like, yeah. Friends with them. Now, um, cutest of cutes. I only get nervous about, um, if kind of, if I, if I haven't, if I have no relationship with them, if I've never met them before, if I've never like even had like a post game interview, something like that, like that first sort of sit down where like you need to break the ice because you know, like anyone that's done interviews or just even anyone that's had like you could equate it to dating for God's sakes, like you know yeah. right away if you've got like, and I say this platonically in interviews, but like chemistry with someone and like you know it's going to be an easy yeah. interview and sometimes you don't. Okay, wait, I found it. Do we have more questions? What? Or did I no, skip over the list? What happened? Okay, okay, read this. It's backwards. Can you read it? No. Oh, because it's something backwards? Something who cheese Harry. Okay, so write down the word. You guys do. If you want to pull a prank on someone, write down the write down the name Mike, then write down the word who, cheese, and Harry. And make Mike it sp- who, cheese, Harry? <laughs> yeah. Right. So when you say it fast, it's inappropriate. <laughs> Mike who, cheese, Harry? <laughs> Ew, Carissa. And it's not. I know, but front row seats got me thinking about when you rest, like see more butts. See more butts. <laughs> or if you write red rum, red rum, is that murder? No. Red rum, red, red rum. Ru- I don't know. This oh, is, red rover, red rover, send some more jokes right over. That's what I'm interested in. This is my New Year's. This is what I like to do for fun. All right. Well, happy New Year, everyone. We're canceled. Bye. Nah. Calm Down with Aaron and Carissa is a production of iHeartRadio. For more podcasts from iHeartRadio, visit the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts.